Pistons now out. Yeah, a little worn. It's got some bad ring play. A lot of blow by down to the bottom. Yeah, but this is all going to be a nice new 70 kit. So. And the cylinder is out. We're also going to pull the needle bearing. We are replacing that. Also, this is your needle bearing. Rides on your wrist pin inside. So now we're ready to put in a 70 kit. Alright, first thing I do, you know, I put the gasket on for the head. It sits in the groove um, this, in this type. Other ones there's a flat uh, copper washer uh, head gasket that goes on. And then of course you have your base gasket which goes on first. Your exhaust studs, I put them in the cylinder before I put it in the bike. It's a little easier. Um, rings, when you put your rings on the piston, there is a top ring and a bottom ring. The bottom one's usually the dark black, the top one is the chrome. There's usually letters on the ring gap. It's really hard to read. They go up. Um, if there aren't letters, it is a little concave to the top, rounded just a little bit. It's hard to see. But And then there are a pin in two positions on the piston where the ring gap sits. You have to have those gaps right centered on those pins when you install it in the bike. Um, and also what I'll do is I'll put one circlip in first. I'll put the pin in, put a circlip in, take the pin out, install the piston, and then I'll have to put one pin back in. It's pretty hard to try to get them in, especially in the bike. That's why I usually do it out of the, out of the scooter. But uh, this particular one we're doing in it just to show everybody it can be done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install this piston, and uh, we'll get back with you. Just want to show you when you put that clip, you have to make sure that it's installed inside the groove. Otherwise, it'll slide out and make a mess of your build. So, if you can look in there and see that clip, it's in the groove. And always check it and double check it to make sure. Then push your pin back out, install your piston, put the clip in from the other side. And also notice on top of the piston, there is an arrow. Arrow points towards your exhaust. Ports are always facing up to the intake. This is your needle bearing. This goes in the connecting rod first. Make sure you well lubricate everything. Needle bearing, connecting rod. In the connecting rod, your wrist pin, your piston, your rings, your cylinder. Lube that all really good. I use a two-stroke uh, special oil that I've made myself for assembling. And it's just a couple mix of a couple different things. So you just want to lube everything very well for the initial first start. Install that into your connecting rod. And then you're ready to install your piston. Again, lube everything well. Cylinder, piston, make sure you lube it very good. your position of your piston right, your wrist pin in, Make sure you push the wrist pin all the way through. Then you're ready for your second circlip. That's the one that's a little tricky. Once you have it in, you want to make sure it's locked into that slot, which that time it wasn't. Must make sure it's all the way in. And she's locked in good.
Next step is your base gasket. Do not forget your base gasket. This side faces up. Oil. Oil the cylinder very well. slide the cylinder in place. You have to make sure that ring gap is correct. This is where it becomes tricky. Cylinder is in place, ready for the head. Make sure you put the head on the right way, the air flows from the fan through the fins. Bolts back in place. Just hand tighten first. Put one on just to hold the gasket and everything in place. Gonna torque these down to 14 foot pounds. And then the cylinder is installed and ready to go. Also do them in a cross manner. 
tighten a little bit, a little increments at a time until you reach your 14 pounds. Makes your oil line comes through that slot at the top right there. And your oil feed line goes in the grooves on the side down through here. And you reinstall your side shroud and that's all ready to go. Shrouds next, and then we'll install the exhaust. So we're going to install the fan shroud, but just beforehand, one thing the customer didn't do on this bike, um, you know, you can get an aftermarket fan a little bigger, push more air, cool the bike a little better. This is something I might talk to him about. Putting on here next, you just put it in place, put your screws back in, and that step is ready. And then you're ready to install your exhaust. We're going to install this Leo Vent 70 handmade pipe. The hardware out. Down tube. This all gets connected to the engine itself first. And then the pipe end slips on this collar. Two springs connect from here to the pipe itself. And then, of course, the mounting brackets in the back. All right, so the header flange is now installed, okay, and then the pipe is going to slip on this flange, and there are spring connectors, two of them on the front that go down to the pipe, and the bracket for the pipe also mounts here. We're going to mount all that now. Put everything in hand tight first. And we can lock tight these bolts here. I have squirted some of the threads already. I use blue, don't use the red, it locks it too tight. Sometimes it's hard to get off. And essentially, this should slip on the bottom. Once you got it all the way up in place, then you're going to work with your mount to make it all correct. It's in this position, it doesn't seem it's right. So I'm going to see what we got here. Do some adjustments. We have it upside down. Yep.
pretty much how it goes. We just need to torque all our bolts and nuts um, and put these two springs on. Like I said, they go on the bottom. We stretch them into place and the exhaust is on. And that's it. The next thing we'll get to is the carburetor. The next step uh, is the throttle cable. Being as this splits into a dual cable for uh, the throttle on this particular bike, we're going to change the whole cable out, put a single cable in, and uh, that'll go right to the carb that we have. Um, we're actually using an Athena carburetor with an Athena cable. Um, to do that, you have to remove the front so you can push it down through. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and show you where we're at. And uh, we'll get the cable in there and then the carburetor. Now the front is now open where we can get this throttle cable out of the bike from the engine, pull it through and out, and then thread the new one back down and through. Take these screws out here, remove this, and you're going to expose the throttle housing to get to the cable. We'll show right. you how to put I'm that. I'm going to install this Athena 17.5 carb. I've already put the choke on. I'm going to ready to put this in the bike. Now, I will come back and show you later, we're getting uh, a stage 6 manifold is going to go on this bike with carbon fiber reeds and everything else. Right now it's just a stop manifold. Um, this car will fit the stop manifold and you could just put reeds in it, but uh, this customer is getting a better manifold. And we're just doing this now so I can start the bike and, and test it all. Uh, the manifold on its way, I'd be here today. So let's do this and uh, we'll get back to you. The throttle cable has to be fed into the car. Once you have to remove the top and the slider, spring. We've already updated this carb also. Carb is installed. Just got to hook up fuel lines and vacuum lines. Got your vacuum, got your fuel, oil intake, and two vents. Alright, carbs installed. Everything kind of hooked back up. Just going to do a test start. I always do just before we do any tuning. And uh, let's see what we got.